In the previous lecture we started talking about Parkinson's disease. So we know that the main problem in this disease is the degeneration of dopaminergic neurons in the basal ganglia, and we talked about using levodopa to compensate the loss of dopamine in the dopaminergic neurons. So today we'll discuss the second category of drugs, dopamine receptor agonists. This category includes bromocryptine, which is an ergot derivative. And the non-ergot drugs, ropanirol, pranipixel, rhodagotine, and the newer agent, apomorphine. These drugs have a longer duration of action than that of levodopa, and are effective in patients exhibiting fluctuations in response to levodopa. Initial therapy with these drugs, is associated with less risk of developing dyskinesia and motor fluctuations, as compared to patients started on levodopa. They may delay the need to use levodopa in early Parkinson's disease, and may decrease the dose of levodopa in advanced Parkinson's disease. Bromocryptine, pranipixel, and ropanero, are effective in patients with Parkinson's disease complicated by motor fluctuations and dyskinesia. But these drugs are ineffective in patients who have not responded to levodopa. The actions of bromocryptine are similar to those of levodopa, except that hallucinations, confusion, delirium, nausea, and orthostatic hypotension are more common, and dyskinesia is less prominent. It may worsen the mental condition in psychiatric illness. And it should be used with caution in patients with a history of myocardial infarction, or peripheral vascular disease. As bromocryptine is an ergot derivative, so it has the potential to cause pulmonary and retroperitoneal fibrosis. Ropinirolon pramipixel are orally active agents. Apomorphine is an injectable dopamine agonist, that is used in severe and advanced stages of the disease, to supplement oral medications. It is used for acute management of the hypomobility, a phenomenon, in advanced Parkinson's disease. Rhodigodine is administered as a once-daily transdermal patch, that provides even drug levels over 24 hours. Unlike the ergotamine derivatives, these agents do not cause peripheral vascular disorders or fibrosis. Common side effects include nausea, hallucinations, insomnia, dizziness, constipation, and orthostatic hypotension. But dyskinesia is less frequent than with levodopa. That's all for this video. In the next lecture we'll continue talking about Parkinson's disease treatment. So subscribe, click on the bell icon and keep following us.